Hello. Hello. This is Gaia. How are you? Hi, Gaia. We are good. Thank you for your presence. And just come in for a few moments because I have to report that things are better now than they were before. And <laughs> even though I am still not in perfect shape, things are coming about. So thank you for your prayers and for all the things that you are doing to help me and the atmosphere and the timeline. I appreciate it so much. <laughs> And I love you all very much, but I just wanted to report that I am feeling much better. And it's because of you, many of you who have sent so much energy and given so much of your free time to this wonderful project. And I just wanted to let you know that it is so appreciated. Is there any questions before I go? <laughs> I have a question. Yes, there's one in the room room here. here. There's one in the room here. Excuse me. Yes. I just um, have a question regarding Yellowstone. Any information on that? Oh, Yellowstone. Just recently, Yellowstone National Park. You are aware of that, or those of you from around the world. Yes. <laughs> there was a 4.5 uh, on the Richter scale earthquake there. But the concern is <laughs> that there hasn't been a volcano in that area for over 400 or over 600,000 years. And it's hard for me to tell the time. It goes so quickly. But um, they're well overdue for volcanic eruptions and major earthquakes in that area. And they're starting to feel um, a lot of tremors and a lot of activity in that area which we have discussed in the past and you know what a caldera is it's it's a volcanic area and some of the the volcan the uh, earthquakes are moving rather close to these calderas and so therefore there is very much concern that there could be a major volcano or major earthquake in that Yellowstone area. However, <laughs> oh, it's not funny, but um, in the California area as well, be very wary. There is a lot of movement at this time, so they, it, it is, they are watching it very carefully, these areas of earthquakes and volcanoes. <laughs> Can I ask you a question about um, Hawaii? A friend was there and she said that um, the volcano is creating more um, land as well as um, yeah. they just recently had an earthquake. Yes. Let me explain something. Remember the Japanese earthquake that happened quite a while ago that was a 9.0 that was very destructive, terrible over in the Japanese area. Remember that those that the tectonic plates are are attached all around the world, and once they give off some of their energy, it calms down that particular area of the planet for more volcanic or earthquake activity. But that the tectonic plates are they move in succession across and under the water in the Pacific Ocean, and they have reached Hawaii, and they are causing and having effects there, and they are also causing effects in the uh, Yellowstone and California areas because the tectonic plates are moving um, from east to west in one way, and there is reasons for these things. <laughs> And some of them are not natural. But, and then they are also moving from the west to the east. So they will meet at some point, but not quite yet. <laughs> Too much going on. <laughs> Thank you, Mother. You're welcome. But I cannot tell, uh, there is also a pulse that is being noticed by scientists that is running east to west and that is unnatural 
it is a pulse from outside of this world and it is a pulse that is created for negative reasons but they are trying to find the source and stop it you will remember <laughs> in 2014 there was such a, a pulse at that time as well and it was created by the reptilians and greys and it was not as strong as this one but it was recognized and it was stopped <laughs> but they have not found the source of this one yet and so it cannot be stopped at this point but it is adding to the frustration and adding to the uh to the idea that an earthquake or volcano in that Yellowstone area or California is much more prevalent. So um, in this particular case, with all of us um, used, our, um, used our energy to block it, would we be able to um, block it from reaching um, you? I'm, I'm glad she brought that up. I wasn't going to ask specifically for that kind of energy in those areas, but the entire world that I am is indeed of energies. So please send the energies to wherever you feel they are most needed. Ooh, thank you. Oh, thank you very much. And I was not meant to be here for long. <laughs> so if there's any more questions, make them quick. I have one, Gaia. Yes. Hello. Hello. I'm planning on a trip to Japan next week in the Tokyo area. Yes. And I was wondering if there were some energetic spots, sort of like the uh, area in California and in the um, triangle that, that we had. At might this be time. Yes. Dear one, at this time. J Japan is rather safe. They do have a lot of earthquakes, but it's still settling from that really big one. The big one released a lot of tension from that area, but it is building tension in other areas now. So do not worry about that. There will not be anything cataclysmic happening in Japan at this time. The, the things to worry about are other than that area because that area has been relieved of much of its pressure. Do you understand? <laughs> yes, I do. I, I probably um, should have been a little more clear. It's good having that information though, but we want to uh, find an area. There's a lot of nice temples over there and we wanted to be able to find a nice energetic area for meditation purposes. Oh, oh you will feel it. You will be drawn to it, and I will guide you to it. I don't know all the names of all the places, but we will guide you. Call on me, and I will move your feet to the right places. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Thank you so much. You will find some lovely spots. Thank you. You Thank will you. understand that Jap Japan is full of ancient mysteries and wonders and great energies. Yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. You are very welcome. <laughs> Next is Shur, Omran, Laini, and Max. Oh, there is many questions. <laughs> yes. I, I don't think Shur just left, but I think she, he will be coming back. Yes. So I will ask mine instead. Yes. A question regarding the crystal skulls, Gaia. I know you are very connected with them, and they represent the collective consciousness of humanity and also you on Earth. They so. Must. After the fall of Atlantis, some of the Atlanteans carried some of the crystal skulls and gave it to, well, taught the Aztecs, or, or Mayans, was it? Was I one of those who carried them? Because I was told that I survived the, the annihilation of, of Atlantis, should I say? Yes, you did carry them. You were one that carried some of them. But I, there was many in your group, and you had more than one skull that you carried. But it is coming around time very soon, within the next several years, where the skulls must start to unite again. <laughs> there are some that are in storage, 
and they must come out. <laughs> but so some of them are here in the United States. Some of them are in Europe, in Egypt, in Africa, in many places around the world. And there's one still to be found. Not all of them have been found yet. There's still one left. Because there's actually 13 instead of 12. And so, therefore, you must look for the controller. The controller is the one for the middle of them. <laughs> okay. And and so so I, with the other ones in the group, we taught the, 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 the civilizations of Maya and Egypt about how to use these crystals because we were the creators of them, right? You helped create many. There was other civilizations that had to create them for their own energy input. But you created many of them, yes, because the Atlanteans were the beginning of them, and the 52 major stargates on your planet are controlled by the skulls. There are other stargates, but the 52 major ones are controlled by the skulls, and they must come uh, out of hiding eventually. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. And one last question. Yes. Well, why, why were we chosen to create them? Because you were in charge of, of the stargates. And the stargates are very important for the future. And you were, at that time, the wisest of the species. And, and you had your integrity intact. And that is why you were chosen. <laughs> integrity is very important. When putting energy into the skulls, Yes, okay, very good. Thank you very much, Gaia. That helps um, helps me clear on on the very good. What I was confused so about. And next, <laughs> continue. Hi, Gaia. Diney. Oh, yes, hello. <laughs> what is your question? Hello? Um, yeah, hi, sorry, I, I don't know if you got that. Um, I was saying, um, we love your happy energy. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, when I... It's a little less happy than usual, but it's still there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless you. Um, what I wanted to ask, if I was constructing a crystal grid to help earth healing, what crystals would be best used? Right now, use the heart crystals, the, the uh, rose quartz. Yes, rose quartz right now is very, very, very powerful to me. <laughs> but tectite from off-world ideas and energies are also very good. Use malachite. Use... Uh, amethyst and citron used celestite or celestine is that what celestite. it's called? celestite the angel one is that oh. what it's called no yes celestine celestine yes <laughs> yes thank you also, there are so many stones to use. You may use lapis lazuli as well. <laughs> that is for the way that the earth is revolving and traveling so that it may stay more steady. Does that make sense to you? Oh, uh, that's lovely. <laughs> so yes, use all these stones. Herkimer diamonds as well, because they hold energy and have mysteries within them and much knowledge. They hold, whenever they come to you and have sought you out, they have information for you 
at particular times. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Yetuwata. <laughs> Who else is there? I have a question. My name is Leela. I was told from Angel Michael a long time ago that I am protecting some vortex, vortex, this vortex. So yes, vortices. What? Yes. What? Is that is that correct? And yes, there and are many are vortexes that are open now that were not open before, and you see some of them are fourth dimensional. But you are protecting a lot of the vortexes and, and vortexes, however you say that word. <laughs> vortexes. Um, yes, they need re-energized and looked at now and then so that they can be continue to flow properly. Most of them are working beautifully right now. But yes, you are to, to look into protecting and keeping them going in a very real way because they are protecting the planet they're protecting california they are protecting the volcanic areas so from, do, uh -huh. yes. do i go to the fourth dimension or do i do in uh, how do i do that you do it any way you can <laughs> okay so this all you do it through level. prayer you do it through moving into the astral you do it through fourth dimension if necessary but whatever way that is possible mm. that you can do it you do do it wonderful uh, now I have a last question uh, did you like my meditation what of I course thank you for doing that I really needed some extra energy and that was wonderful thank you wonderful it was it was my first meditation and because of you i started to do healing in this life again so i would <laughs> say thank you for the inspiration because you are my inspiration for the healing work thank so, you well i use my healing energies as much as possible to heal the places on the earth that have been scarred or negative energy has come there i will try to cleanse it out and keep it as clear as possible <laughs> wonderful who is next i uh who, who wants to there is someone me? here in the room okay uh, I you must speak up i'm wondering if you could give us a um an exam uh, uh, an idea of what the shape of the planet looks like why would you want to know that? I'm curious. It is round. But is it completely? No. But why do you ask? Just information I looked up. Well, then that is for you to know, not for all. Thanks. <laughs> oh, what else do you want to know? I have a question about Moldavite. Moldavite, yes. Um, well, what can you tell me about it? Was it actually natural to Earth, or did it fall from from space, or and what the general um, properties like protection or healing or um, that are associated? Moldavite did not come from Thank the you. Earth originally. There is some Moldavite on the Earth at this time, but it was brought here. It's not natural to this planet. And it, it has properties of healing. It has properties of... Uh, it, it's an excited stone, which means that it, it sends out energy quite easily uh, and can be used as a long-distance healing stone in some ways. I know that there is all kinds of things written about it. <laughs> but you remember, you can intention your stones to do different things than they were actually meant to do. And sometimes when Moldavite is, is uh, accumulated on this planet, uh, it can be for different reasons. 
the original reasons were not necessarily the reasons they are used for at this time. Some of the reasoning for this now time is for mental clarity and for holding light in, in the ascension period, sent from greater and higher dimensions so that you may have some of it uh, around to help those that are needing of it. Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. You may read about it and find other re reasons for Moldavite to be existing on your planet, but it is true that it is not originally from this planet. <laughs> Oh, all right. Is it time for me to move on? Come on. Yes. I think uh, we would like to uh, have somebody else coming through and thank you. And we will talk to you very soon. Excellent. Much love to you all. <laughs> and thank you for your healing energies. I so much appreciate it. <laughs> we will continue, Gaia. We are going to continue to send you energy. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs>